Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is also going to be a meme lord extravaganza in RTA, but today we're going to try to stick to a comp until it works. This is a horrible idea most of the time, so let's try to keep it light. <laughs> but today we showcase Caesarea and this is her. So I'm not really at whale level. I don't have this plus 20 to get the 20% max uh, HP to all allies of shield. Um, and also she's not fully, um, you know, what's it called? <laughs> she's not fully, uh, reforged. So I can get her to 24k HP easily with this type of build. And that would mean that on a 20% shield, she would be giving close to 5k HP out of shields from popping her passive. And she's still on counter, which means she's still gonna strip and she still has the possibility of doing damage because she's she's still at 5k attack. So this unit is, I, I like this build a lot. It just needs a lot of love and it's gonna take a while, but the, the, the basis of it is that she becomes a huge bait because once people see the bombs, they go, holy shit, I wanna kill that Caesarea. And then most of the time they're gonna try to start targeting uh, the Caesarea and they're gonna get debated and she's gonna provide a huge shield and CR push for the team, which is gonna be really, really useful. So this is another use uh, for um, Caesarea that most people haven't really seen. So I like her a lot. She's a supportive uh, single target stripper. She removes uh, skill nullifiers at times and she also puts down attack down uh, because the bombs are really, aren't really that relevant here. You mostly want to use her for that supportive CR on the AOE unit because a lot of there's a lot of units in this game that strip the AOE but they don't provide the CR push and she helps with that while giving protection to the team because sometimes you're going to get countered that's going to happen and that shield's going to soak up a lot of damage because it's going to be 5k HP shields on everyone once the artifact is uh, fully maxed so that's basically it we're going to run a fake cleave type um comp on RTA as you can see our ran isn't fast at all. It's also a bruiser Ren, uh, but he does a lot of damage and uh, he has pretty good uh, turn cycling with uh, with RNL. So we're gonna pretend we're gonna go for Ren Caesarea, and then we're gonna put Judge Kise in there because all we need is to force an AOE for her to go on, and then we put some bruisers in there and we'll fake to cleave, and then it's not gonna be really a cleave. So that's basically it. We're gonna jump in and we'll see if we can have some fun today. Alrighty, here we go, first opponent. So. Thoughts about this build? Uh, honestly, I really, really enjoy it, and I think it's one of the better builds that you can run on her, because her build is kind of super streamlined, and uh, her artifact is also super streamlined, because it's the only thing that kind of makes her good, right? Because she can apply bombs through miss and through all those things, right? And uh, yeah, honestly, I think uh, this is a great build, honestly. <laughs> um, but we'll have to see, right? We'll have to prove it here that it's a great build. Uh, what is this man picking? I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to attempt to have fun today. That's going to be the main goal for today. Having fun is going to be the main goal. And hopefully we're going to get it. I'm not sure we will, but hopefully we will. Uh, this is still okay because uh, hand guide doesn't really cause much of a problem for us. Because we're not really trying to control or using any squishy units here. So we should be mostly okay. Um... I'm going to go for a little bit of a safe Violet pick early because uh, Violet's pretty good into Ren and I would have to run against that because remember, Caesarea is good into Violet but not my Caesarea. So this is pretty good because uh, you'll, you'll actually see this uh, if I trigger the uh, Politis on the Caesarea's turn because uh, you'll realize that the damage that Politis like, dishes out gets negated by the shield. So it's pretty good. But I'll show you that in no problem. In a jiffy. Alright, we do need a cleanser here. Or we were going for the ban on that uh, on that girl. Alright, we're going for the Judge Kise now. Because we do need that double AOE setup. Otherwise, this is all pointless. Hmm. I'm thinking about possibilities here. There's a lot of there's a lot of like non-attack punishment here. And that ain't no bueno, and I do need some sort of uh, threat for that AOL, so I'm gonna go like this. This is very skimmed out on DPS, though, so I'm gonna struggle a little bit to kill things, but I think it should be mostly okay. It's gonna depend on the last pick. Like, an a last pick A Ravi here would be crushing, because I'm not gonna get, get enough damage to kill that. Because they're most likely gonna go for the Violet, because it's the only real DPS here, right? 
There's no sustain other than the shields, and Politis is going to basically deal with that, so... That is not good. I think Charles, uh, Charlotte needs to be the kill, because uh, I'm not going to be able to kill the Charlotte. Because even if I reset her with uh, Judge Kise, it, it, she doesn't care. She's just going to soul burn and have her way, so I guess I have to kill that. Well, Cesaria gets banned, so I guess we're not choking, showcasing her on the first uh, match, but I guess we'll get a match out of this. So let's just skip through this one, I guess. I'm not going to skip the match, because, well, what a waste. <laughs> Could be fun, right? Alright, we outspeed, but that kind of was expected. I didn't expect the, the this girl to be this slow, but whatever. Yeah, she got reset. But it's still pretty bad. The reset here is pretty bad still. Because uh, one single target on Ren, and he doesn't do anything anymore. Okay, we're resisted. That's good. I think I'm just going to go for that good old... Uh, hmm, do I need to put immunity up? I don't think I need to put immunity up. I think I'm just going to go for the straight up... Uh, you know, removal and appliance of debuffs, which is actually useless, but we'll go for it. Ooh, now that's a tough choice. Will he S3 for the cleanse? Oh no, never mind, he's, uh, he's been destroyed. He's been destroyed, what am I talking about? Uh, whoa, dude, you're pushing it. This boy pushing it. This guy's like, actually pushing it, like, he wants to kill the Violet? Like, straight up? Okay, alright, I guess that was a fast one, on to the next one. Alright, second fight, the first one was a pretty easy Caesarea ban, so we kind of need to move along from there. <laughs> we need to pick something a bit more uh, dangerous, I guess, but we're gonna, we're, gonna do it, we're gonna do it in due time, right? So we'll be okay. Uh, first pick on the enemy is always better for me, because uh, that means I don't get the, the Ren Caesarea in a split pick, but I'm okay with that. Also okay with Politis. Not super okay with her because of reset, but they're they're both on immunity, I think. So I guess that's not that bad. Um, decisions, decisions. I have to take something strong against the other bet. So I think I'm just gonna try to go for the reset on everyone, and it's also well kind of required on this type of build. So that's that. Uh, Violet isn't very strong against Celilius, and I can't pick any more supportive units. So. I guess I have to go for, I, I really don't know, a REM would be nice, a REM would be nice indeed, I don't want to pick REM though, <laughs> she's not fun, um, guess we're going for Violet, Violet's never a wrong pick, right, I, I'm just kind of, <laughs> I love my Violet, don't get me wrong, I love his build, I think it's the best build in the world, and uh, I've proven that too many times, and it's just, uh, it's just that I'm <laughs> kind of tired of using him. <laughs> He's a good looking boy, but uh, I'm kind of tired of him being my neutral pick, right? I need something stronger in my arsenal, something that works against the current meta, but that's basically impossible. So, alright, so he's banning the Violet, 100%. Otherwise, he's just inting. So I need to give him something that will make him actually int. What will that be? I guess, I guess if I go for a cheeky, if I go for a cheeky breaky and bend this, right, I am going to give him the, 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 like, the superiority here, right, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay with this much damage uh, on, on a maid. I think I'll be okay. Alright. I got that good old outspade. Now we just, we just have to pray that Rem doesn't go completely berserk over the next turns and doesn't go like counter, 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 counter. By the way, my 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 voice got elevated there because, um, as you've seen by that, I um, I already got screwed. <laughs> I already got screwed. Are right, we gonna try to kill this? All right, we we put a moon to up, a moon to. 
RNL. Oh, we get an RNL, which means that we get one kill. One guaranteed kill. But on whom? Okay, I see. I don't want to give... I mean, I don't want to give, but also... It doesn't matter. I have immunity up. I'm going to go for the softening up on this... Uh, well, I did kill her. <laughs> I said I was going to kill someone, but I didn't know I was going to actually kill the Ren. That was a lot of damage. And now he's worried about that. Also, she resisted the... Um, she 15 percent the... Um, the strip, or it didn't land on the chance, right? But most of the time it's 15%. And that shield's still being solid for me. My boy's still alive. And if he revives, there's nothing that's gonna kill me, right? So, we gooch. Man, he thirsty. He thirsty. He wants to get that kill on my Remy boy. Little does he know. Okay, now we do a little softening up. Okay, that's good. Now we do a little soul burny burn. This is mostly for a little bit of tiny damage. And now we uh, do it for the debuffs. Because debuffs are always good. Alright. She got enough... No, she didn't get enough resets on her. She cycled enough. Oh no. That means the Rem is gonna basically, with a with a pubic hair of HP, she's gonna be able to heal up quite a bit, unless I outspeed. But that's gonna be relative to my Ren. My Ren? My Ren. Oh, it was relative to my Ren. But he's okay. My Ren's okay. Yeah, now now we just make the, the whole the whole dominoes uh, tumble because uh, everyone is low HP with the uh, revive buff, so that's just gonna mean we're gonna go HP up! HP up! <laughs> this is this is gonna be very obnoxious for him. There's that counter roo. No strips though. But chip damage is also good. Dude, he wants he wants that rem. Dude, <laughs> he didn't he didn't enjoy getting one shot of there. He did not enjoy that. Oh here goes. He's back up. He's back up. Can I get another Arnu? Come on, give it to me. I don't know. Alright, dude. We got this. We just need to pop another revive. There's that revive pop. And now we kill this thing. Because Maid's not going to do anything for like two years. And now we heal the team. And boom, we're, we're Gooch. We're Gooch here. Damn, he burned. Hey, it's not enough. It's not enough, so it's all good. He's just desperately trying to get that uh, good old Reviv. Also, um, the great thing about this uh, Cesare build is that uh, her cooldown on uh, on her passive actually matches up with her uh, cooldown on the artifact. Which means that once the artifact's cooldown is up, the shields can go up again. So it's, it cycles in per perfectly, so it's, it's really good. Right, can I get a fat Hoyan? <laughs> Can I get a fat Hoyan? Alright, I don't think he's gonna solo. <laughs> there it is. Alright, uh, Cesaria didn't really show the tankiness part there, but I mean, she was useless. I mean, useful. I mean, what? Someone's gonna say, uh, did Native did Nadia just say the truth? <laughs> no, I swear, it's good. Uh, it just needs needs proper setup, needs proper, uh, <laughs> needs proper uh, team to go against. I, I, I'm, I'm truthful. I'm truthful, I tell you. Alrighty, next match. Uh, on a serious note though, if you can keep up a uh, good cleanse and uh, you run the meta Bellians and uh, you know, like maybe a counter Daisy, something like that, something that can trigger AoEs passively, right? Uh, you're gonna gain a lot of value from using her in a uh, turn two uh, comp because she's gonna be just like an Fsessi, uh, but she's gonna CR push your team while putting bombs and possibly controlling some units because that's the main thing. It's not really about the damage, even though she can do some. Uh, it's more about the actual control that she can still provide, right? So it's a solid build. It's just that it's very niche. Any no speed unit is very niche because because you're gonna have to take a hit. Or you're going to need setup, and that's never good. Alright. 
All right, we're going to go against the Speedy Boys, and that's going to mean we're most likely going to lose, but we're still going to try. Uh, what is neutral here? Honestly, because of my comp, he, they might draft Dilibet as well. And honestly, I might kind of need uh, Dilibet to pressure on the draft, so I'm going to I'm gonna early pick her. Also, she, she provides CR. It's, it's good. Either way, she's nice. Yeah, especially against that. I'm going to need a lot of cleansing. A lot of cleansing. All right, we go for Violet, and we go for Reviver, and then we close. No, actually, we'll go for this. Because, uh, yeah, that, that might be enough. This might be good enough. Huayong is so oppressive, man. Why Huayong so oppressive, bro? Because I kind of have the banner, right? If I don't, do I have enough cleanse or do I outspeed? Actually, yeah, I think this is a pretty solid just Huayong ban and we're okay, right? I think so. Why, why is he drafting so much support? Um, yeah, I think I think even though I want to go against Huayong, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Well, no Caesarea fun today. Uh, guess we're uh, we're cleared on that. But it's still okay. I mean, honestly, Caesarea ban is not a super relevant ban here. I mean, if he was a met, did he not move his characters around? Unlucky. He he, this boy sounds like me uh, when I'm using my uh, what's it called? When I'm using my uh, Trozet. All right. Now we're gonna get a CR push, and then we're gonna. Do some stuff. I think it should be fun. Honestly, they have no immunity, so this is going to be extremely fun for me. Because everything is going to line up for me. There's them resets. Rem counters here have very little influence here. They can go again and my Rem, and my Ren still survives. So we're good there. As long as there's no CR uh, pushing, we're fine. More resets. No one's going to move for like four turns. I'm not even kidding, look, the, the Ram won't have S3 for 4 turns. Kinda cray cray. Now we go for this, RNL proc means death. No RNL proc, but I th I'm pretty sure it still means death. Cause uh... I mean it's 3 water units, like the moment that fire unit dies, like my Violet... At this point my Violet's fine. <laughs> at this point my Violet is fine. He just gives up now. Why, why, would, he, why would he not quit? Why? No, actually? No, actually. Seriously? I'm gonna show him that he needs to understand that at this point, there's nothing he can do to beat a Violet. Like, does he not get that? I I'm legit going for the, the highest HP, not in an attempt of, uh, of winning. Okay, that dual attack is bullshit. Alright, I'm gonna go on this one now. I'm serious. I, I, I want him to take his turns. <laughs> I actually do. Because I don't know what he's expecting from this. Three water units into Violet. Doesn't bat in Violet, and then... And now it loses the only thing that could have killed the Violet. So, I don't know. I think he's, uh, I think he's going, uh, going high on that pure Copium. I'm going to try my hardest to not kill anything, but... It's starting to get hard. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, heal up. There it is. Yes, that's good. S3. Okay, no, never mind. She can't S3 for a billion years. Never mind. Oh, that's good. Go for the ramp. Okay, nice. Okay, now now it's that time that he thinks he has a chance, but then it's a 21,000 HP Violet. There's actually 0% chance. It's actually impossible. So I'm not sure what's... Uh, What's meant to happen here, but uh, I guess I'll finish him off with an S3. Just for style points, because uh, at this point, right? <laughs> at this point, you gotta be confused. You have to be kind of confused. Alright, on to the next one. Hopefully not a Caesarea ban on the next. Alrighty, here we go, last fight. Uh, we're gonna keep doing the same cheesy strat. Hopefully they don't pick the Caesarea, because that sometimes happens when you first pick Ren. Um, but we'll see. We will C. Will he snipe? Oh, we're good. I think we're good, because I don't think he's going to go Caesarea, uh, because, well, there's Violet there now. There it is, my boy. All right, it's, this, is, this is good for me. I like it. This is uh, interesting. We're going to go for the Dilbert. Dilbert! Dilbert just too good against debuffs. 
She too goods. Deal Bert. Deal Bert. Alright. This man's thick. Oh, what? He's pulling out. He's, he's just flexing the Hua? Is, is he just showing me that he could, he could pick Hua? Dude, that's some, that's some bullshit right there, dude. Dude, that's some blue shit right there. You know, you know that asks for? That asks for some bu bu blue shit back. I'm gonna lose on this one, because Trey's has no solo setup. I have no way to get him to get his turn other than the push. There's no revives. He's squishy as shit. This is not gonna go good. Just saying. We're still gonna try, though. I could have picked Milim and banned the unbuffable. That would have been nice. See? It would have been even better against this. But uh, we decided to go uh, on uh, another uh, route. But I think this route actually allows us for, th for things. But I think... Okay. Honestly, this is perfect setup for us. This might be the perfect showcase. We just have to hit the Violet with Judge Kise, reset the Violet, and we have a very solid chance of winning. Is it a great chance? No. Is it a good chance? Meh. But we have that chance. All right, here we go. All right, it's a pretty, it's a honestly a pretty slow uh, judge, uh, not judge Kise, uh, a pretty slow uh, a Ravi, which I kind of needed because if Strays doesn't get his turn, I am absolutely screwed. Oh, it's Dijan Urba. It's Digan, it's Digan Urba. I think I'm okay here. I think we're okay here. We're not good because I'm, I'm definitely not killing this uh, this girl, but uh, we're we're trying. We're gonna try. Okay, we killed her actually, so that's good. Okay, I think I am going to S three because I am a dumb idiot. That's what I. That's my reasoning. I'm going to S3 because I'm a dumb idiot. Honestly, I couldn't tell you why. I really couldn't tell you, but I am going to Soul Burn for that extra oomph of damage, possibly a, a dual attack. And uh, we're gonna go for that good old solid uh, slap. There's no immunity on me, and there's no way for me to cleanse anymore because I S3'd, and I was perfectly aware of these things. But... We have a chance. It's all good. We have a real chance. Don't worry about it. Just don't debuff my Judge Kise and we're fine. Just don't debuff the Judge Kise and we're fine. See, we, why did we survive? We survived because of the fat shields. That's all I have to say. Unluckers. Actually, we did reset the Violet because he's not countering at all. So, he, the Violet's dead. He's not doing anything anymore. So, that's all gooch. All right, now she's gonna go for that fat revive, but I think my Dilbert is in a, still in a good spot for actually killing the A Ravi. I should wait. Did she get reset too? Ooh, the strays goes through. I think she got reset. Yep, I think she might have just gotten one turn reset. The DJ, the DJ Herba is gonna start trying to gain some value here. All right, I'm gonna kill this thing, Bonkies. Then I'm gonna kill uh, uh, this thing. Stonkies. And then I'm going to attempt to strip the attack buff from this boy. I gave him more. I gave him more attack buff and he went on my on my no-no unit. I can't believe he went on my no-no unit. I have to give him I have to give him the hurt. This is going to hurt. This is actually going to hurt. He didn't kill anyone though. So he's not going to get that that AoE reset, but this 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 is all just going to hurt. I don't want to. I don't want this guy to heal. Just kill him. Kill him off. Lap the guy. Burn. Slap him off. And then uh, that's basically that. I don't think I have anything else to do. Bonk. A stonk and a dead. All right, boys. I guess that's enough of a showcase. I mean, you seen it. RB revived and barely touched our HPs because shields be shields, I guess. So. If you think this is a weak, uh, shields are useless and weak, I say to you, F. Sessi, and that's basically kind of all she does.
and that's that hope you guys enjoyed today's video <laughs> Don't flame me too much for this build, all right? I really wanted to do uh, a Caesarea build because I have a lot of, you know, AOE strippers that don't do anything. And uh, with her, they're, they're doing things and I'm getting tankier with those comps. And uh, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> and I hopefully can see you on the next one. If you enjoyed the build or want to see other builds, go down in the comments and leave a suggestion. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.